Welcome to Outside View Scandals, where we dive into the stories everyone whispers about but no one wants to shout from the rooftops. Today we're talking about a scandal that shook the very foundation of modern democracy, or at least it tried to. The Cambridge Analytica scandal, where Facebook, that friendly social platform we use to share cat videos, was suddenly at the heart of a political manipulation storm. Who knew? Let's go back to the beginning because all good scandals have a juicy backstory, right? Cambridge Analytica, a British political consulting firm, promised its clients the holy grail of politics. Voter manipulation. Sorry, I mean influencing voter behavior. Subtle difference, right? Using data from millions of unsuspecting Facebook users, they claimed they could influence elections, change opinions and basically rewire democracy. All through the power of social media algorithms. But how did they get all this data? And here's where things get interesting. And by interesting, I mean a bit creepy. Back in 2014, a Cambridge University researcher developed a Facebook app called This Is Your Digital Life. Sounds harmless, right? Just another personality quiz. What Disney character are you or which type of bread best represents your personality? People love this stuff. But while users were busy discovering they are most like Elsa from Frozen, they were also handing over their personal data. Oh, and their friends' data too. That's right, the app didn't just collect info from the person taking the quiz, it grabbed data from their entire friends list. It's like inviting someone into your home for tea and realizing they've taken your family photo album on the way out. The app collected data from 87 million Facebook users. 87 million. Just think about that for a second. That's more than the population of a lot of countries. And all this data, personal info, likes, dislikes, political views, ended up in the hands of Cambridge Analytica. Now, if you're wondering how Facebook didn't notice this, well, don't worry. They noticed. They <laughs> just didn't seem to care very much about all of this. After all, what's a little data harvesting between friends, right? Cambridge Analytica then used this treasure trove of information to create psychological profiles of voters. They segmented people into categories like persuadables, meaning those who could be, mm, let's say, gently nudged into a different political direction. By bombarding them with targeted ads, articles and content tailored specifically to their personality and fears and desires. It wasn't just about changing votes, it was about changing minds. For example, during the 2016 US election, they allegedly helped Trump's campaign by targeting specific voters in swing states with ads designed to appeal to their emotional triggers. Not quite the warm and fuzzy democracy we all signed up for, is it? Of course, Cambridge Analytica insisted they did nothing wrong. They simply used data to understand and influence public behavior. Ah yes, influence, a much nicer way of saying manipulate, don't you think? Facebook, on the other hand, tried to downplay its role in the scandal. Mark Zuckerberg even testified before Congress, where he spent a lot of time looking like a robot learning human emotions. He apologized, he took responsibility, sort of. But at the end of the day, it became clear that Facebook had no real control over how third-party developers were using its data, which, you know, isn't exactly comforting. After all, most of us share more personal information on Facebook than we probably should. So what happened to Cambridge Analytica? Well, after the scandal broke, they faced a media firestorm and went bankrupt. But that's not really the end of the story. Because the data, well, the data never really goes away. 
it's out there somewhere floating around the digital ether just just waiting for someone else to come along and use it so what have we learned from the cambridge analytics scandal if ever that our personal data is worth a lot more than we think that politicians will use any tool at their disposal to win votes including your facebook likes and that social media platforms well let's just say they might not have your best interests at heart but don't worry you can always trust your cat videos to be safe well probably in in the end cambridge analytica was just one example of how data can be weaponized for political gain but it's unlikely to be the last and as long as we keep clicking those personality quizzes keep sharing our private moments and keep trusting big tech to protect our privacy these scandals will keep coming but hey at least you know which disney princess you are right so thanks for tuning in to outside view scandals and make sure to like comment and share this video after all What's a little more data shared on the internet? See you in the next video and the next one is right here in the end screen.